I just have to run in quick and grab something. Piece of paper. Sure. There you go. Thank you. The Dot Shop, where there's something for everyone on your list. One of the things that makes the Dot Shop Nautical Boutique special is the lengths that the staff goes to find rare and unique items that represent the best of New England. Behind those products are small local New England companies who have a unique story to tell. This is one of them. My name is Kyle Jackson. I work for Sea Rose Trap. We're a lobster trap company based here in Scarborough, Maine. We've been making traps since 1993, and in 2011 we started playing around with making furniture out of the same lobster trap material, uh, which grew into the Lobster Rocca furniture line that we're running today. Uh, we started with a simple flat chair, which grew into a rocking chair design. Uh, we grew that into a love seat and a love seat rocker model, uh, and we just added a new high back rocking chair. And then we have three different styles of tables as well as a footrest that go with the different chairs and colors. The best part about the Lobster Rocket Furniture line is that everything that goes into the chair was originally designed to be in a lobster trap and survive for eight to 10 years underwater in the Atlantic Ocean. So they're incredibly durable. Uh, there's nothing a New England winter is really going to do to it. So they're, they're great for outdoor furniture and people love them for indoors as well because it accessorizes so well with other pieces. Here at Sea Rose Trap, we only work with a company called Riverdale. They produce aqua mesh wire in a factory in Massachusetts, which is just the highest quality we've seen of any of the options. There are multiple international wire selections, but for us, uh, American made is always the best way to go. Uh, a lot of the twine, the underneath, isn't produced here yet, uh, but if there was a company that offered it, we would switch immediately. As soon as people see the chair, it's such a visual product, uh, especially with all the different colors, and it's very unusual looking. Um, the first thing everyone thinks about is how comfortable it is because it's made out of industrial metal wire made for a lobster trap. The way it's designed, uh, it's incredibly deceivingly comfortable. So the first thing everyone always says is, wow, that looks so cool. And then the second thing they always say is, I can't believe how comfortable it is. Uh, people love to accessorize with them because of the colors. Uh, and people like to add cushions just to add to the overall look. But you most certainly don't need one to enjoy the chair. The idea for the chairs started in late 2010. Uh, actually, the idea started way before. Being a local main company with this great material, whenever we needed something in the shop, like desks or drawers or our front desk that everyone sees as soon as they walk in, uh, we just made it out of wire. And it always was easy and simple uh, and colorful. And then friends and family saw it and started bugging us for bookcases and chairs and shelves and benches. Uh, and as soon as we made one chair, we realized that there was a new product and market uh, that we needed to figure out how to do. It took us about a year of playing around with the design to get it to the comfort and stability that it is now. Uh, and everyone seems to really enjoy it. Uh, our spread of sales is only limited by the visibility. Um, we've been lucky enough to partner with a lot of great retail shops up and down the northeastern coast. Uh, shop's exactly like the dock, the dock shop. It's a perfect match for us. Uh, they look great in the store. It already fits where their, where their product market is. Um, and as soon as people see them, it just grows and grows and grows. To see more of these products and designs, visit the dock shop, 49 Tokenique Road, Darien.
One of the things that makes the Doc Shop Nautical Boutique special is the lengths that the staff goes to find rare and unique items that represent the best of New England. Behind those products are small local New England companies who have a unique story to tell. This is one of them. Hi, I'm Charlie Friedman, and we're down at the Flowfold Boiler Room, and this is where we put together the uh, wholesale orders for Flowfold. During high school, my summer job was manufacturing sailboat sails. When I was doing that, I learned how to sew, and I discovered some of the amazing materials that they're using for racing sailboat sails. I had been using this leather wallet my grandfather had given me, and when it fell apart, um, I decided to make a new one, and people have been reusing sailcloth forever, so I figured it would be a cool material to make a new one. So I used that material to make a wallet, and that's kind of how the first products were born. Over the years, we've found that the real reason people love the wallets is just kind of the performance features of it. So it's super water resistant, and it's extremely durable. Um, the laminates themselves, you could take a pair of scissors and cut them, but for the stresses that, are, that a wallet's under, so just wear and tear going through the washing machine, they'll last a lifetime. You know, some of the fabrics have carbon fiber or Kevlar, and those are, you know, stronger than steel. So our kind of theme for the category of products that we're making is what we call like everyday carry. So it's kind of like travel gear, but it's more, more in line with what you're using when you're commuting to work or going out on a weekend outing, um, anything you're doing in the outdoors, going to the beach, mountains. We're starting to do some tote bags, so that, that's kind of the direction we're headed with our new products. So we're sourcing our materials from at the moment it's all reclaimed what we call it so it's pre-consumer waste so we don't have to do an energy intensive recycling process there's all sorts of ways along from raw materials to a product that you can be conscious about your waste so we cut all of our panels with like a laser which means that we keep both sides of what's being cut. A lot of times traditionally in manufacturing, you use like a die stamp, which is just like a cookie cutter. And think about when you're making cookies, there's all that in between dough that you're, that's scrap. So when we laser cut it, um, it's just using every single square inch. We work with the manufacturing partner here in Maine for everything. And it's awesome because our turnaround time is super fast and uh, we get we can really make sure the quality is spot on and all of our materials are sourced in New England also so it's super easy as far as shipping things around we aren't worried about yeah we try to basically drive the whole design process off what customers are saying and um, our retailer partners since there isn't quite the margin that you'd have if you're producing wallets or goods like that overseas we really rely on just the quality and people being able to spread our company by word of mouth. There was a local craftsman who works on furniture and kind of custom projects and we kind of tasked him with kind of coming up with a new display fixture and uh, he came up with this really neat reclaimed driftwood kind of small structure that wallets could hang off of. It's cool to create something that people, you know, want to have and then getting feedback of people who've had a wallet for, you know, several years, it's still perfect. To see more of these products and designs, visit the Doc Shop, 49 Tokenique Road, Darien.
Can one of you take us shopping, please? I will. The Dot Shop, where there's something for everyone on your list. One of the things that makes the Dot Shop Nautical Boutique special is the lengths that the staff goes to find rare and unique items that represent the best of New England. Behind those products are small local New England companies who have a unique story to tell. This is one of them. A trip to the beach is a favorite summertime activity. It's a chance to spend the day out on the sand, splashing in the waves and soaking up the sun. The beach is also a great place to make memories and Beach and Nature Company has just the product to capture those warm and happy moments. Our Piece of the Beach activity kits come with everything you need to create your own unique sand cast. All you need is your imagination. Simply find it, pour it, love it. While at the beach, collect a few shells and other items you'd like to include to remember your day by the sea. Thank you, Mandy. Did you do this one? Arrange your shells face down on the sand, mix up the plaster, and pour it over the shells. When the plaster has sat, lift it up, brush off the sand, and take a look at your very own keepsake of found treasures and time shared together. You can also create sand casts of your hand or footprint a paw print, or come up with some fun alternatives such as arranging a face with some shells and seaweed, or some beach grass, or making a heart shape. Yeah, I love that. that. The possibilities are endless with Peace of the Beach. Our activity kits are a perfect way for families to easily spend some creative time with their kids, whether at home or on vacation. Peace of the Beach is a fun and simple way to capture those precious moments of time and make for charming presents or home decoration. Available in a beach pail or jar, our kits can be shipped anywhere in the world, even your hotel. The next time you're planning a seaside trip, don't forget to take along your piece of the beach kit so you can find it, pour it, love it, and take home a lasting memory of your piece of the beach. To see more of these products and designs, visit The Dock Shop, 49 Tokenique Road, Darien.
One of the things that makes the Doc Shop Nautical Boutique special is the lengths that the staff goes to find rare and unique items that represent the best of New England. Behind those products are small local New England companies who have a unique story to tell. This is one of them. I'm Grant Tankus and welcome to Soundview Millworks. You're currently standing in our design studio in Darien, Connecticut, where we do all the finished sanding, oiling, engraving, and distribution. In the beginning, we started out doing direct business to customer, kind of exclusively. We quickly realized that we needed some retail stores and we found great help in retail partners. What we really want to become is your personalized, unique gifting source. We want to help you create a gift that you're happy to give, you're happy to receive, something that you would truly be proud of to own. We can do that in a number of ways. We can do it by taking our stock product and putting initials on it, monograms, wedding logos, dates, something to draw back to the person that you're gifting to to reconnect with them. Relationships with customers and retail accounts are the most important things that we have. We've worked very hard to build those and craft those and we're fortunate to have great partnerships with local stores like the Dock Shop and communities that support us. What we try to do is create a unique buying experience through our retail channels and through our product. We don't limit ourselves to anything. If you can come up with the idea or if you need help coming up with the idea, we'll make it happen. It's great to start with a little bit of a platform, the designs and shapes and styles that we work with, and then cater to what you want. Maybe it's a monogram on the left-hand side instead of in the center because you want to put a starfish on the right. So we'll work with you to create whatever you want. The best part of what we get to do is when we, when we really nail it, when we get to create that personalized gift for somebody that not only makes them happy to give, but we hear back from the customer about how great it was. That Maybe it was six months after the wedding or kind of an unexpected Tuesday when the package arrived and the customer was just thrilled. It, it caught everything that they wanted to capture. It was the couple's wedding, it was the regatta event, it was the way the logo turned out. And you get a thank you note or response from them. They say how grateful they were to give or receive it. To see more of these products and designs, visit the Dock Shop, 49 Tokenique Road, Darien. Wow, that really was a unique place to shop.
One of the things that makes the Doc Shop Nautical Boutique special is the lengths that the staff goes to find rare and unique items that represent the best of New England. Behind those products are small local New England companies who have a unique story to tell. This is one of them. My name is Jennifer Flato. I'm the founder of Jules Hayworth, and I'm a jewelry designer. I have always been crafty. I've always loved fashion and jewelry ever since I can remember. And it's been kind of a twisting road to get to where I am in my life today with my craft in the center of my life, but here I am. My goal with the jewelry that I create is to delight people and to make products that are really unique and really different and that provide my customers with a way to creatively express themselves. I'm really inspired by uh, Bakelite jewelry from the 30s and the 40s. There's something about um, plastic jewelry. I love the fact that it can make as much of a statement as jewelry made out of real diamonds and gold and it's easy to wear and it's affordable and I try to bring those elements into the jewelry that I design. My products are available in boutiques and museums and hotels and casinos throughout the United States. I am Jennifer Flato, founder of Jules Hayworth and I am a raw artist. To see more of these products and designs, visit the Dock Shop, 49 Tokenique Road, Darien. One of the things that makes the Dock Shop Nautical Boutique special is the lengths that the staff goes to find rare and unique items that represent the best of New England. Behind those products are small local New England companies who have a unique story to tell. This is one of them. 
We're ScreenCraft Tileworks in Providence, Rhode Island. Our world headquarters, as we affectionately call it, is right here at 35 Corliss Street in Providence. We do give factory tours <laughs> and uh, we, love, we love when people visit. ScreenCraft was started in 1952. We, we bring the tile in by the container and then once it's here, we um, have dedicated staff to prep the tile, which is cleaning it, getting all the dust off, it's uh, back printing it, it's either drilling it for a clock or preparing it for Joanne to print um, a chart or fine art on. And we develop different artwork depending on customer requests. Uh, nautical charts and maps was our foundation and that was our, our base. And then from there we brought in fine art. Uh, once it's prepped and ready to go, the, and the really the hard part is coming up with artwork and maps that are gonna sell really well in, in your shop in, in Darien, Connecticut generate artwork according to what our retailers tell us. So we depend on, on shops like the Dock Shop to, to feed us information about what customers are looking for. We've gone through great pains to find the best supplier of the best marble this world can offer. This particular color of stone exists nowhere else on earth besides a crescent that extends from Italy through the Mediterranean, under the seafloor, through Turkey, and down to Israel and into uh, the Middle East. Iraq and Syria. So this tile at this color uh, only comes from that area and we feel like we have searched the world literally and we have found the best supplier uh, that we've seen in our, in our seven years of, of using this stone. The best part of, of my job is, is really celebrating the sacredness of the place. I feel like um, working with retailers we're truly honored and blessed to be able to dig into Norwalk and Darien area and figure out what would really work well and talk about your town, talk about what the local, uh, where people are, what people are proud of in the town and really bring that out and celebrate it on gift products that people are going to cherish. I mean, that's what, that's what I, that's what gets me excited about this company. To see more of these products and designs, visit the Dock Shop, 49 Tokenique Road, Darien.
One of the things that makes the Doc Shop Nautical Boutique special is the lengths that the staff goes to find rare and unique items that represent the best of New England. Behind those products are small local New England companies who have a unique story to tell. This is one of them. Hi, I'm Dick Fincher, Phase 2 Lures, Westport, Connecticut. We're sitting in my workshop uh, in the garage. Uh, I make hand-carved cedar lures for inshore fishing, and I've been delighted to have those be sold through the dock shop in Darien, Connecticut. Uh, why I make lures is partly because I love to fish. I love the idea of creating something uh, by hand, uh, locally, with local materials, and seeing someone else catch fish on it. We make a variety of lures uh, for topwater action, for various kinds of swimming, and they're also used uh, for either from boat or from shore, and also in trolling. I happened to read an article about offshore cedar lures, and I thought, gee, that might work inshore if we could adapt them. And coincidentally, this is really a true story, a friend of mine had a cedar tree come down in his backyard and wanted me to help him uh, clean it up. And I said I'd be glad to take the wood and I cut it up very crudely, made two or three lures. Uh, one of my sons was fishing up off Cape Cod and he called and said, Pop, we're catching a lot of fish on these lures, you better get up here. And believe it or not, that's really how the business got started. So I'm gonna take off about an eighth inch angling it down slightly toward the tail on each of the four sides and we'll hope that the wood does not surprise me. I think this piece is pretty pretty straightforward as far as the grain is concerned. So I've taken that square and sort of given it an octagonal shape. Now we'll bring that down. I want it to be pretty much a circle when I finish at the tail. So we'll take little strips off all the way along having spent a lot of time on the water and trying to observe how bait acts and trying to think like a fish. A uh, fish is an eating machine. They have different times they eat, different things they eat, but they have uh, some, some certain basic characteristics of the things that they like to go after. And I, I know that uh, some sometimes fish are feeding on the surface, you want to work uh, on that. Sometimes they're the, below the surface and you want to work on that. Uh, various shapes and sizes seem to be important and uh, you get the action of the particular lure by where the weight is in the lure and how you retrieve it. But every lure design that I make and every color that I sell has caught fish before it goes to the market. Most of my lures we work with for probably a year, year and a half uh, with various people testing them before they go. I want them to know that this lure is going to, going to perform for them, that it's going to give them the action they want. And they're also going to have the satisfaction of, of working with something that's unique, hand-carved, not mass-produced uh, in a plastic mold. Uh, you'll notice on this, I've already done one of the eyes. How I did that eye, it's very simple. I, I take this Q-tip and I dip it into my paint and I make just put a drop on that, like that. And that's what gives you a nice round eye. I, I very much am opposed to plastic eyes imported from China. I want... Uh, uh, localized that looked like they were handmade because they just do the job the same way. Really, I like seeing someone else catch a fish with my lure. That's probably the biggest satisfaction. To see more of these products and designs, visit the Dock Shop, 49 Tokenique Road, Darien.
One of the things that makes the Doc Shop Nautical Boutique special is the lengths that the staff goes to find rare and unique items that represent the best of New England. Behind those products are small local New England companies who have a unique story to tell. This is one of them. I'm Trip Wolfscale from Sail Classics, based in Newport, Rhode Island. Sail Classics was started in 2001 by a guy on the West Coast named Dave Wickland, and uh, he was an avid sailor. And uh, he developed certain boats that were very popular, mostly along the East Coast. And as you know, we have the sailing heritage here throughout New England, all the way down through the through the Chesapeake Bay, all the way through North Carolina. And uh, it seemed like most of the sales, most of his retailers had gathered along the, along the East Coast. And strangely, he was still based in Seattle. And um, he was getting on an age, a little bit older. Not, he's not old by any stretch, but uh, he's getting on an age. And uh, the business just became too much for him to handle. And when I heard that he was going to close the business, my heart broke because I just love the boats. I'm super passionate about boats, super passionate about this line. These models are by far the nicest models that I've seen uh, in the mass market world of, of, uh, of model boats. And um, it was just an opportunity I couldn't refuse. There's 28 different models available. We have America's Cup boats starting from the first America's Cup boat, the America, which won in 1851, uh, all the way up to the J-Class yachts, which was the 1930s era of, of classic boats, Shamrock, Endeavor, uh, Rainbow, and then we go to Chris Craft Speedboats, the classic uh, speedboats which you see behind me here. We have a nice wide range of, of boats that you see, still see sailing out in the harbor. What I love about Sail Classics models is the extraordinary attention to detail that each and every model has. It takes about three years for someone to train to learn how to plank a hull like you see here and uh, the level of detail and the workmanship that goes into each model is just really extraordinary. This is a Harishoff 12 and a half, and uh, you know, we purposefully had this model left blank, unfinished, so that you can see the workmanship and the craftsmanship that goes into to the models. Most of our models come uh, with a very high, with that very high polish and a very high finish, and um, that's another extraordinary part of the model is, is the, the finish that the models have. It takes a lot, a lot of attention to detail and a lot of fine workmanship. And um, it's really what separates our models from, from the competition. Attention to detail is on the workmanship, but it's also on the accuracy of the rigging and the sail plan and the hull shape itself. We took great pains to make sure that the, the hull of the Reliance looks like the actual hull of the Reliance, so much so that we're approved by um, Mystic Seaport uh, Museum, and we're, we're approved by Harishoff Mar Marine Museum, we're, they're a customer of ours. Um, the National Maritime Historical Society sells our models, so there is no museum that these models can't, can't go in. To see more of these products and designs, visit the Dock Shop. As the holidays draw near, it's the perfect time for the Dock Shop Nautical Boutique in Darien to say thank you to our customers for their business. Whether you have a boater, beach bum, or a serious fisherman on your list this holiday season, the Dock Shop Nautical Boutique has the best of New England all under one roof. Unique gifts, accessories, furniture, jewelry, activewear, and more. The Dock Shop Nautical Boutique would like to wish everyone a happy and safe holiday and best wishes for a joyous and prosperous new year.
Come in, we're ready for you. The Doc Shop Nautical Boutique, where there's something for everyone on your list.